In this video, we are talking about the Radius team for this new Chief Challenge. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello guys, Wilson Box here. I hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, we are talking about Rook, the new Chief Challenge, the one that takes more damage from Radiant damage. Okay, this one, it's very basic. I think this will be the one of the easiest ones. This one or the, the, the Radiant and you have the Lightning or the Lightning, okay? But I'm going to start with the Radiant. Later today, I'm releasing another video, that one with a uh, uh, lightning team, so stay tuned. So let's start with Rook. Rook, we already know Rook, he just do, does damage, no buffs or debuffs, he just pure damage. He ignores the enemy's shields, so don't use any shields. We need 280 accuracy and we have all of this stuff, okay? He, he does some more damage with this skill, more damage with this skill and more damage with this passive okay so it's pretty simple pretty simple pretty simple so this is the team i'm using for this guy and it works pretty well this is a free to play team but it's not a free to play um gear okay so it's a you really need a good gear for these guys if you want to reach 22 million damage and use free to play characters let's just have a look at the psycho core so you guys are aware so i'm gonna use this psycho core on every comp i'm i'm on Okay, so I'm using some accuracy here and I already have two points on this, so for more 4% for each elemental damage. So keep in mind this because this can change your damage, your total damage. So for this guy, he does this ultimate, it's the one that does more damage. This guy really does a lot of damage, so we need to be aware of that. Uh, I tried to use melee heroes before, so the first comp I tried was with a Ralia one. And with melee heroes doesn't work that well because they take more damage because they don't have so much defensive stats. So the way I found to do this is to two tanks and I think uh, just ranged characters, ranged DPS. And I'm also using another thing. I'm using a double defense penalty. Okay, so for that I have timings as well. So let's start. We have Garius with Scarab Amulet. Uh, you can use whatever uh, artifact you want, at least if it gives you more defense stats just to increase your healing, should be fine. Don't use the stuff because this guy ignores um, shields, alright? So this is pretty basic, defense, defense, uh, you can use some more defense here, defense percentage here and here. Next guy we have Clovis, okay? So on Clovis I'm using the Serial Helmet, this set will be really important to increase your damage because it gives this more 15% attack on every holly so this will be really important to have I have defense stats as well so defense percentage and more defense percentage and I'm using the crown of the unclean I'm pretty sure you have this one so I'm using the crown and the witchers at the same time with different timings to increase my damage because I'm using uh, epic characters um, so they don't have so good stats and some of them not so good abilities like legendaries so this is what I'm using, I have more than 280 accuracy, you don't need this much, at least you need 280. Okay, so then we have Tio Hain, and she's here on this corner because sometimes the boss decides to ultimate these three characters and not just these two. Some, most of the times it will, it will target these two, but sometimes it targets this one as well. So that's why I'm using the Rava Tricks on her, because it gives some more HP, okay? It, because of these non legendaries this effect is double, so it gets more 30% HP and 30% attack. So that's why it's in you know, on the corner. I'm using Echo of War, I already tested this before the Season 3 release, and I think this one will be the one doing more damage. I tried all three, and this one uh, is doing almost the same damage as the Emissari set. Okay, this one is pretty good, especially for lightning, uh, lightning, dauntless, dauntless heroes. So then we have the double attack penalty, uh, defense penalty I was talking about. So I have Witches Remain uh, on this character. She's really good because she gives this uh, ultimate, and whenever an Auli uh, attacks, the hero assists their attack once to deal uh, some more damage. So this effect can only be triggered once every two seconds. So there's a big chance that she will keep triggering. This which is remain, which is really good. And then finally we have Karet. Make sure to have Karet around this because she targets these three tiles. So it's really important. I'm using Pipe, the organ, 
and attack percentage, crit rate, and other echo for set. So I'm using also a defense aura. Uh, you can do this with attack aura as well. About the timings, pretty simple as well. So I have 18.1. You don't need this less. Okay, so you guys can see I have a 19.3 um, interval casting because. Why is it 19.3? It's the perfect timing because this guy will reduce the ultimate energy of this boss by 20%. So I found that 19.3 is the perfect timing to keep uh, my Clovis doing attack penalty, inflicting attack penalty every time. He's going to inflict the attack penalty around here and will last these two abilities all the time. And then I have this 20 seconds because he's going to cast at 11. And then I have this one casting at uh, not 11, casting at 20. And so Clovis will apply the same attack, uh, the defense penalty. And then when the defense penalty is finishing, she's going to cast the defense penalty next. So this boss will have defense penalty almost all the time. This is good to have her with uh, the stronger uh, defense penalty artifact because the, the stronger defense penalty uh, the buff will always apply over the weakest one, okay? But the weakest one does not uh, apply over the strongest one, okay? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I'm being uh, clear with this, but I'll explain you guys. So this one, if you inflict this one, defense penalty one, and right ahead one second uh, after, if you use the witch's remind. The, the, the buff that will stay on the boss will be the defense penalty 2 and not the defense penalty 1. But if you apply this one first, defense penalty 2, and then you apply this one, this one will not, go, will not apply on the boss because you already have a stronger debuff of the same type on the boss. Okay, guys? So that's why I'm casting this one first, and then I'm casting this one on second. So let's start this battle. I'm going to place... Two times speed, just to explain you guys. So, firstly, I'm gonna have Clovis applying the attack penalty on these first two skills, so he's going to reduce the damage from this boss, and then I apply defense penalty as well, the defense penalty one. But since this one is uh, weaker than defense penalty two, she's going to use ultimate before this finish, and she will be able to apply defense penalty two over the defense penalty one. Now it finished, and now Clovis is attacking, it didn't apply anything. Uh, this is just RNG, sometimes it applies, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but basically, this is what's gonna happen most of the fights. Attack penalty on these two skills, and two defense penalties, uh, I hope, all the time, as much as possible. She cast the defense penalty too, too late now, so he's not going to apply defense penalty one, but it should be fine. So now we're gonna fast forward this because I love this new feature. It helps so much. And we hope that we reach 22 million. I already tested this before and I reached 22 mil more than 22 million. So it's a bit RNG because Clovis only attack once and sometimes not having the two attack uh, defense penalties all the time or not applying one attack penalty it's enough to uh, reduce the damage we are doing. But if we apply the two attack penalties to, uh, at the two defense penalties all the time, I'm pretty sure you can do more than 22 million. Okay, we are on 16, 17, 18, almost there, 19. Yeah, we're gonna reach there. Okay, 21 million. 22, maybe 23, no, 22, but it's fine. So, 22 million damage, we can do 22 million damage with this team. Uh, using the two defense penalty, having this gear helps a lot. But, guys, remember, this is a epic characters, only epic characters. You can use the same strategy, but use different heroes. Because if you have stronger heroes, like... Fuel 2, Laurentel, stronger ranged heroes, you can use the same strategy, having someone applying defense penalty two times, so you can use Clovis and Garrus at the same time, but using three legendaries from Raleigh or Aura will help you a lot. You guys can see this one did 8 million, this one did 6 million, this one did almost 5 million. 
So you can use the same strategy, reach 22 million damage. With this way, you can get the maximum rewards with 22 million damage. Of course, you want the maximum damage for the leaderboard. So that's why I'm saying you can use the same strategy, use different heroes, stronger ones. You have the timings. You can use exactly the same timings. Gary's here, I don't think it's replaceable. It's really important to will everyone full HP. And Clovis reduces a little bit of the damage, attack penalty, and all the timings. So I think it helps a lot. So guys, this was my first video about the shift challenges. This was about the Rook. Uh, the next one will be the Lightning one. So will be this one around here. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. It's down there. So will be this guy. Okay, will be this guy. The next video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna release it later today. So stay tuned uh, to check my uh, my another guide about this team, Lightning team. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, see ya next time.